wet, Todd? I don't know, Margo. You said it wrong. I don't, I don't think I had to say. It's supposed to emphasize the name. Why is the carpet wet, Todd? Yeah. Why is the carpet wet, Todd? I don't know, Margo. <laughs> You're watching the Margo 321. I am the Margo, and there's candy canes all over. Mm. Can you guess what video we filmed just before this? No, you can't, because we are very different, different clothes. clothes. <sighs> but these are not being uploaded back to back. Fingers crossed, hopefully. Oh, that's going to be interesting tasting. Yeah, it's a mix of. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I'm putting it in here. It's a mix of candy cane chips and paint chips. Oh. Anyway, today, welcome to Vlogmas Day something. I don't know what day it is, honestly, because um, I am not great at planning things. 17. That means you did 17 straight videos. I'm so proud of you. Oh, thank 17 you. straight videos. I feel like I'm going to need this video way before 17. If you didn't do 17 straight videos by now, then we have a problem in our relationship. I feel like I'll have done that many videos at some point, but I just feel like I'm going to need this video before then mm. in order to get to the 17. Yes, you're just going to have to film more before that. I'm, I'm definitely going to... Anyway. <laughs> Welcome to Vlogmas Day something. 17. Oh jeez, I'm the... Okay, we are doing Christmas trivia. I found this game, Christmas trivia, 100 Christmas questions. Probably not gonna do all, all 100. We usually do. Yeah, I always say that and then we do way more than I intended. But we'll see, these might be terrible, kind of like the Thanksgiving Day questions. I haven't read any of them. Oh, we didn't get a piece of paper. Yes. Intermission. Jingle bells, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bells, jingle bell clock. That's not the words. It's on jingle bell square in the frosty air. 18. 18? Bottom of the notepad. I'm bitter number 18. So maybe I did 17 straight days uh, before this. And okay, I spelled it right. <laughs> Making sure there wasn't a T. Anyway, so welcome to Vlogmas Day 18. Yeah, you're just making it harder for yourself. Maybe, maybe we'll see. I have a list of videos. Now I just got to film them, but I have lots of concepts. I believe in you. Thanks. And if you fail, I need all of you to unsubscribe. <gasps> she hasn't even eaten all of you in Reese's Pieces form. Or peanut butter M&M &M form. You ate a lot of my subscribers. Yeah, they're my subscribers now. <laughs> you absorbed them. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, so the way that it's going to work, each of these trivia questions has the question and then it has multiple choice answers. If we can get it without needing the multiple choice, we get two points. If we need the multiple choice, we get, and we get it right, we get one point. And then at the end of however many we do, Someone wins a prize. Alright, we'll do a test one so they can see what the process is like. This is not going to work. Okay. Alright. What is Brett Favre's middle name? Do you need the multiple choice? Lorenzo. Wow, she got it! So I would get two points if that was... Uh, the girl question. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we'll go back and forth and you know, we'll tell you which one of us won in points, but you know, if you guys also want to play along, let us know how many you get right. Alright, do you want to go first? I will ask first. Okay. Which Jamaican sprinter was born on Boxing Day in 1989? Boxing Day is not Christmas. I know, this does not feel like Christmas trivia. Um, the only Jamaican athletes I know of are the bobsled team. Is Usain Bolt Jamaican? Alright, give is me the multiple your choice. Is, is Usain Bolt the answer? We need to clarify is that something. Your answer? Do we get to answer and then get the multiple choice if it's wrong? No. Oh. Then I'm going to say no, that's not my answer. I need the multiple choice. Alright. A. Usain Bolt. 
B. Johan Blake or C. Asafa Powell? Usain Bolt. Final answer. Incorrect! Oh. It was B. Johan Blake. Usain Bolt's the only one I've ever heard of. <laughs> Same. Alright. Who has two birthdays? One on Christmas Day and one on the 25th of June. Is it Jesus? Is that your answer? Yes. Wrong. Dang it. It's Paddington Bear. Jesus wasn't even one of the choices. Uh, well, everybody, I, when you said two birthdays, my first thought was Jesus. And then you said the second one was in June. And then I was like, okay, it's not Jesus. Because people who say that Christmas wasn't the day that that person was actually born usually say he was born sometime in September, but then yeah. that was the only name that I could I was born in September. All right, all tied up, nil-nil. Oh. No, it's love, love. No, that's the quarterback. That's also tennis scores. <laughs> no, I know. Okay. Thought we were gonna keep on, mm. but then he thought that I was actually dumb. No, it's the player on the, Seahawks. <laughs> um, according, this is an easy one. I'm mad, but we're, maybe I'll get an easy one next too. According to the program, mm, according, it's not easy to read. Um, mostly just for me though. According to the poem, which was the night before Christmas, where were the children? Do I need to like recite it or just say the location? You just need to say the location. Oh, they were in their beds. Yep. That's two points for Todd. <laughs> I should probably do tallies, then it'll be easier. Which football manager was sacked just after enjoying Christmas dinner with his team? I feel like this isn't fair. <laughs> <laughs> um, who was the guy before Matt LaFleur? I don't know, give me multiple choice. Well, the guy before Matt LaFleur was Mike McCarthy, but... He wasn't a manager, he was a coach. Oh, I don't even know the difference. Um, Jose Marino, Louis Van Gaal, or Rude Gulet. I've never heard of any of these people, so I'm guessing European football. Yeah, I was going to say, is this soccer? Um, oh, rude. sacked, like fired. Yeah. I thought sacked, like quarterback was sacked in the game. Oh, no, I was definitely uh, thinking fired. Um, Rude Goulet. No, it's Jose Mourinho, or Mourinho, mm -hmm. or I don't know how to pronounce that. That's cheating. How is that cheating? <laughs> you wanted to go first. <laughs> I think we should, uh, maybe fix these up. They seem mixed up. Easy, hard, easy, hard. <laughs> That's about as mixed as you can get. Stephanie Meyer. Don't know who that is. Oh, okay. Born on Christmas Eve in 1973, wrote which series of books? Alright, I'm gonna need the choices. Was it A, Twilight, B, Hunger Games, or C, A Series of Unfortunate Events? Twilight? Yeah. Yeah, that's three for Todd. <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned the names on the scorecard are Todd and Margo. Yeah. I, what movie did that come from? That's not your question. <laughs> But if you guys know, leave it in the comments below. Alright. You finally got an easy one. Where would you hear the words Mele Kalikimaka on Christmas? It's a thing to say on a bright Hawaiian Christmas day. Is that your final answer? Yes. Hawaii. Two for Margo. I'm still winning. Ah. <laughs> uh, which German city is the gingerbread capital of the world? How many German cities can you name? <laughs> I can name a handful of them. There's West Germany, there's East Germany. I don't know if those are cities. Oh, I can't bar. Then there's East Berlin and West Berlin. <laughs> um, give me the choices. A. Frankfurt. B. Stuttgart. Or C, Nuremberg. Stuttgart. No, it was oh. Nuremberg! Ah. I only know that from the trials. And Frankfurt is obviously hot dogs. <laughs> 
Which bird is most likely to appear on a Christmas card? Ooh, that's tough. My brain goes either cardinal or dove, which I feel like would both be answer choices, so I'm not going to go there. If it helps, I disagree with the answer. Dove. Can you clarify? Like a specific kind of dove? Mm-hmm. A white dove. Wow, you got Oh, wait, no, you didn't get it. Oh, no. That was just the multiple choice. I saw uh -huh, that and thought uh -huh. that was it. It's a robin for some reason. Oh. I think it should have been turkey, which was one of the multiple choice <laughs> options. Cardinal wasn't even on there. I know. Probably because they didn't want it to be too easy for you. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Mmm. The candy cane chunks slash paint have all melted and are in liquid form now. <laughs> I don't think that you're going to get this one. Which of these sports stars was born on Christmas Day? Okay, give me the choices. A. Chris Kamara, B. Lewis Hamilton, or C. Tyson Fury? No clue who any of those people are. C. I'm gonna go with Lewis Kamara. <laughs> That's not one of the choices. So give me the choices again. The choices are Chris Kamara, Lewis Hamilton, <laughs> or Tyson Fury. Chris Kamara. Yeah. Yeah! I got one point. Mm. Lucky guess, literally. Which popular cheese often eaten at Christmas is known as the King of English Cheeses? I am a big fan of cheese. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll be very disappointed if you get this one wrong. Yeah, I don't know which one's associated with Christmas. The King of English Cheeses. I don't know which one's the King of English Cheeses. Do you want the choices? Mm, not yet. Mm, which one? I'm just going through all the different cheeses trying to decide which one sounds English. You like, should do it, but like Bubba talking about shrimp. <laughs> you got cheddar cheese and American cheese. Uh, you got cheddar cheese, you got American cheese, you got mozzarella, you got your Gouda, you got your Swiss, you got your Munster, you got your... Bubba's a lot slower Brie. talker than that. I know, but I wanted to just do an accent. I didn't really want mm. to do the Bubba accent. Um, so I went like, I don't know, New York, Boston. I don't know what that was. Mm. Um, I can do accents. I can't always tell you which accent I'm doing. Especially when she's drinking. Y'all. <laughs> Have you been drinking? <laughs> Just eggnog. Normal eggnog. Mm. Um, Growing up, normal eggnog did have alcohol in it. I didn't realize there was a non-alcoholic version of eggnog until I was like 20. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. It's the opposite for me. The eggnog that had alcohol in it was special eggnog, regular eggnog with mm -hmm. just eggnog. Um, uh, I don't know, I've got to pick one. Um, Munster. No, that's not Christmasy. Gouda. No, that's not British. Cheddar. No, mozzarella. Mozzarella. Final guess. Alright, wrong. Dang it! I wasn't even on the choices. What were the choices? The choices were Cheddar, Stilton, or uh, Wensleydale. Mm-hmm. It's a stupid cheese. No cheese is stupid except blue cheese. That's moldy. Also American cheese, because that's not cheese. American cheese is delicious. Go on with it. Let it up. What is a Pfefferkuchenhaus? <laughs> what? Uh, Pfefferkuchenhaus. I'm gonna go with a musical instrument. Final answer. <laughs> no. Oh. oh, I thought I was giving it away. I, I you know, I, I, I'm thinking this might be German, but it ends in house. House. Uh, is that a gingerbread house? It's a gingerbread house. No points. Well, maybe if you pronounced it right. Oh, I'm sorry. How would you pronounce it? I didn't think this far through. <laughs> it's pronounced gingerbread house. <laughs> Well, I understand German. Yeah. Did you guys understand it? <laughs> when you said it, it came up crystal clear. Oh, it makes a lot of sense. I, I'm just, I've, I'm, I'm German part way, so I've got <laughs> fluency. Yeah, it's in your blood. Mm -hmm. What would you find inside Stolen? <laughs> Nicolas Cage. <laughs> Nicolas Cage did a movie that was a knockoff of Taken, and it was called Stolen. 
That's an actual <laughs> thing. Look it up. Um, how is it spelled? S T O L L E N question mark. Oh. Maybe Stalin. No, Ooh. that's a dictator. Yeah, Lenin isn't next to it, so. <laughs> is that is Lenin one of the choices? Is Lenin inside Stalin? No, well, you've got Lenin, you've got Marx, you've got Putin. Those are your three choices to be inside Stalin. Pardon me. <laughs> Did you just fart on a YouTube video? <laughs> I've done it before. We'll I'm see so that sorry. Cuts out. <laughs> um. Those weren't the actual choices, by the way. Don't accuse me of cheating. Um, gold coins. Final answer? Yes. Wrong. Dang Marzipan. It. The choice of marzipan, chocolate, or cream. It's a food. Mm. I figured it was like one of those, like the Kinder eggs that you sometimes mm. have stuffed inside of. Yeah. All right. In Eastern Europe, which fish is a popular Christmas dish? Hmm. I feel like I've heard of a fish being a popular dish, but I don't remember. I have an idea-ish, but I'm gonna need you to give me the the multiple choices. I don't have anything else that runs with fish, dish, or ish. I wish! <laughs> uh, A. Cod. B. Carp. C. Catfish. Mm. Eastern Europe. Do they have any ocean? I don't think Eastern Europe has any oceans. So I'm going to go with catfish. Final answer? Yes. Yeah. Carp. Hmm. Carpe that diem. Neither of us are very good at these terrible <laughs> Christmas questions. Where did you buy this? Um, at some random little shop. I think it's associated with Barnes & Noble, though. That explains a lot. It's a smart people game. Which... <laughs> Have fun. Which cricket ground traditionally hosts the Australian Boxing Day Test Match? Um... I'm gonna need the answer choices. The Sydney Cricket Ground, the Melbourne Cricket Ground, or the Adelaide Oval? I'm gonna go with B, Melbourne. Yeah, you actually got it. <laughs> you sound so surprised. Do you know a lot about Australian cricket grounds that, I forgot the question, traditionally host the Australian Boxing Day match? I, I thought know Boxing Day was Canadian. I, it's most of the British colonies, mm. I think. What is traditionally mixed in Christmas pudding to bring good luck? Figs. Final answer? Yes. Not even one of the choices. I thought figgy pudding was something. Figgy pudding is something, but I think this would go in the figgy pudding mm. in addition to the figs. What is it? A coin. Mm. So, I was right, and it's a food, and they put a coin in a food. But it was a different kind of food. By uh, what name do we know the vegetable Brassica olaracea? I'm gonna just let you read it because I probably butchered that. That food. Brassica olaracea. Mm. And it's gonna be a Christmas vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> Vegetables aren't allowed at Christmas. This is supposed to be a happy time of the year. Um. Uh, um, carrots? Wrong. But that actually was one of the multiple choices. Eh. It is a Brussels sprout. Ew. Yeah, I agree. Little green balls of death. See, this would be an easy one if he asked me this question. But I don't think that you're going to find mm. this to be an easy question. Which gift did Harry Potter receive during his first Christmas at Hogwarts? Oh, I have a guess, but I'm going to need the multiple choice. What's it? A, an invisibility cloak, B, a wand, or C, a book of spells? Hmm. Invisibility cloak. Yeah. Yes. I know Harry Potter. What, was that what your guess was going to be before? No. The, what was your... A wand, actually, but for some <laughs> reason, invisibility cloak just seemed to make sense. Yeah, he had a wand before his first Christmas because he needed it for that. Uh. I mean, I have things and I get replacements of those for Christmas. Or upgrade. I had a banana duck and you've gotten me like four banana ducks since then. I think I'm going to get you one new banana duck, but then also banana chicken. 
Oh uh, yeah, and a banana chicken and a banana duck pillow. Well, that's true, but that's, that was that's a completely that. different thing. Mm. All right. In which European capital city is eel a traditional meal on Christmas Eve? I hate book people. Mm, I have an idea, but I'm going to need the multiple choice. We've got Rome, Paris, or Copenhagen. Copenhagen. Wrong. It's Rome. Ah. What was your idea? Well, when you read it, I didn't realize that you said city, and so I was thinking country. And so I was going to go France. And then Paris is in France, but for some reason I was like, I didn't think that it would have been Paris, even if it was like the rest of France. It does seem like something the French would do. Yeah. But yeah, no, I, I would not have considered Rome. All right, we got a few more. We got a lot more. Right, but I want to cut this off at the 30 minute mark. Maybe we can do some more another day. Okay. Um, on your channel. Okay. Which British monarch made the first annual broadcast to the nation? British monarch? Yeah, king or queen. Hmm. They traditionally do a broadcast on TV on Christmas Day. Maybe Christmas Eve? I think it's Christmas Day. Um, but who started that tradition? Did it specify TV in the card? No, it just says broadcast. I'm going to go with Queen Victoria. Final answer? Yeah. It's not one of the choices. It was King George V. That was my second guess. I would have known the fifth, I would have just said King George, but I feel like that would have counted. Mm. There were two different King Georges in the multiple choice, so I probably would have made you specify. For the tie, what is Frosty the Snowman's nose made out of? A button nose. Mm -hmm. All tied up. Ooh, the festive plant, the poinsettia, originated in which country? Ooh. I have an idea, but give me the choices. Costa Rica, Mexico, or Brazil? I was wrong. I am going to go with Brazil. It was Mexico. <laughs> Which UK horse race did Santa Claus win in 1964? I <laughs> might consider accepting if you can name one UK <laughs> horse race. Um, I'm going to need the options. Uh, the Grand National, the Epsom Derby, I hear they make good salt, and the Ascot Gold Cup. Mm. Fred likes that one. And Mr. Furley. I'm going to go with A. The Grand National, wrong. It's the Epsom Derby. Ah, uh, be salty about that one. <laughs> Christmas puddings are traditionally made on which day? I would have guessed Christmas, but I'm going to need the, the choices. Stir up Sunday. What is that? Mix up Monday. What is that? Oh, my battery's about to die. Or the second Sunday in Advent. Quick, quick, quick. Uh, second Sunday in Advent. Nope, stir up Sunday. BRB. She has such a guilty look on her face because What'd she knows she's not allowed on the table. Oh, is she not allowed on the table? No, I don't want butt prints on my food surfaces. I probably shouldn't have eaten the candy cane flakes that were on the table. There's probably butt puckers all over this thing. Probably. And we're back. All right. From outer space. Okay. You don't know the words? It sounds familiar, but I feel like you sang it uh, in a different... I don't think I've ever sung that one. In the film Die Hard, I don't know why this is in this list here, New York cop John McLean tra travels to which city on Christmas Eve? It's not New York. It's somewhere in California. San Francisco. Wrong. Los Angeles. Dang it! I got half a point because I got the no. right state. First shown in 2012, what is the name of the sequel to The Snowman? You haven't heard of The Snowman. Um... My answer is dumb, so give me the multiple choice. I will give you the multiple choice and I won't count this against you, but I want to hear your dumb answer. The Snowman 2. Oh. No. Okay. Is it A, The Snowman and the Snow Dog, B, The Snowman and the Snow Wolf, or C, The Snowman and the Snow Cat? 
I'm gonna say the snow cat. No, it's a snow dog. Oh. Dogs Sorry, are lame. Jana. All right, you gonna read it to her? What's the answer? If you add together all of the gifts in the 12 days of Christmas, how many gifts will there be? We should have like a little uh, hourglass here because she's a math person. And she's doing the math in her head right now. So I'm just going to keep talking 20, to try 30, and screw with her. 40, 45, 33, 55, 21, 4, 8, 66, 2, 78, 48. 41. Ha, <laughs> gotcha. 78. 78? Wrong. It's 364. Oh, because they... You get all of them every day. See, that's dumb. I don't think that's how it actually works. Mm -hmm. I don't think you get 12 um, partridges in a pear tree. Like I think you do because on the fifth day of Christmas, you got this, you got that, you got this, you got this. Yeah, those other ones, though, you already acquired on the previous day. Then they would days. have said on the fifth day of Christmas, you get five golden rings. And on the fourth day of, the Chris of Christmas, they, they don't specify that. You're going to have wrong. so many birds. You're, wrong. You're going to have so you many birds. You failed a math question and there are no such thing as too many birds. Okay. <laughs> if I had known that that's how they had interpreted the 12 days of Christmas, mm. I could have gotten that one right. Okay. But I'll accept it. I think it's a technicality and I think that they are incorrect. Mm. I'd like to challenge that. Uh, can we bring out the uh, experts? All right. Which famous composer created the music for the festive ballet, The Nutcracker? Give me the choices. A, Beethoven, B, Brahms, or C, Tchaikovsky. Tchaikovsky. Yeah. It's one for Todd. I feel like that one is really easy. Ordinarily, like I would have known Tchaikovsky without the answers, but I think the way that I said it gave it away. Mm. I was going to guess like composers for movies and would have been way <laughs> off, but it's not the way you said it. Tchaikovsky just sounds like a Christmas name. Mm. I feel like so does Brahms. I've never heard of Brahms. Oh. In what year did the crew of the Apollo 8 spend Christmas Day circling the moon? You want me to give you a demonstration of a moon? We went to the moon in 1960. I don't remember the song. There's a song in Ethan Stevens that Ren sings about going to the moon. Mm. Um, but there's going to the moon, so this has to be before that. Or after. I mean, they can orbit the moon after they leave. I guess that's true. Alright, give me the choices. 1968, 1969, 1970. 1968. You got it. Yes. Tied up again. Alright. Who sang the opening line of the 1984 charity single, Do They Know It's Christmas? I'm going to need some options because I have no idea what that is. That's a charity single? That yeah. like a bunch of different like famous people contributed to. Hmm. Um, so, was the opening line sung by Paul Young? Boy George or George Michael? Hmm. George Michael. Final answer? Yes. No. It's Paul Young. In the, uh, the Christmas movie, It's a Wonderful Life, is set in which town? Choices. Is it Bradford Falls, Buford Falls, or Bedford Falls. Bedford. Oh, you got it. Stupid guesses. <laughs> no, that one sounded correct. Mm. I mean, we said first to seven, right? No, I don't think we said that. <laughs> first to ten? I mean, typical rules are like first to twenty-one, but if you go mm. over, you go back to fifteen. No. Let's uh, do first to ten. Okay. This is already a very long video for a uh, vlogmas video. <laughs> for Christmas at Hogwarts, 
The Great Hall is decorated with how many towering Christmas trees? How many of the options? 12, 20, or 30? 12. Yeah. 12 days of Christmas. Yeah. I got all the Harry Potter questions right. How many Harry Potter questions did you get ready? I haven't been asked any. Exactly. Clearly, I'm the better Harry Potter fan, having never seen the movies. I've also gotten the movies. Uh, all of the National Lampoon questions correct. You weren't asked the National Lampoon's correct. Right, but I haven't gotten any of them wrong. Mm, that's fair. What is Viscum Album commonly known as? Viscum Album? Yeah. The Nativity Story. Wrong. Mistletoe. In 1847, Tom Smith invented which Christmas item? What are the options? Christmas crackers, Christmas stockings, or the advent wreath? Christmas crackers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, you guys. He's winning. In the film, Merry Christmas, Mr. Lawrence, starred which rock singer? Give me the choices. I've never even heard of that movie. Mick Jagger, David Bowie, or Rod Stewart? Rod Stewart. Wrong. Damn. David Bowie. That was my next guess. Okay. I'm sure she would have gotten at least three guesses. <laughs> Maybe four. If you were born on Christmas Day, what's your star sign? Oh, I don't do these. This is one of the annoying ones. Well, I've got like, what, a one in eight shot. I think there are eight of them. Twelve. There are twelve? Yeah, there's twelve. Oh. A little while back, they invented a thirteenth one. Um, but I don't count that one. Capricorn. Yeah. Hey, I got it. Oh, and that's two points. That's ten. <gasps> you win. We win, Java. Um, you know, I'm a Capricorn. Yeah, but that doesn't mean anything. Yeah, but I said it's one of the annoying ones, and then you're like, oh, Capricorn. I figured it was annoying because it was a one of the, like, star, I can't remember what they're called, astrology questions. Because that makes it annoying. Mm. No, I meant the, the sign was annoying. Well, I win 10-7. Means that you get a prize. Yay, what do I get? Tune in next time on day... 19. 19 <laughs> to find out what his prize was. All right, uh, how many of these did you get right? Be honest, because these were much more difficult than I was anticipating. And <laughs> good night, sweet dreams, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hope you're having a great holiday season. Bye. All right, go close the auction.